Right! I got you right! I got you right! Oh my god! Congratulations, Ken. I feel like you won the best. Yeah, Ken! <laughs> I don't know. You make him so excited. You're amazing tonight. They don't know what is what. What celebrity chooses to dress as the single greatest threat to a family of four on the beach? <laughs> Let's dive into the mass mystery of the jellyfish. Hey guys, it's me, Jellyfish. Follow me as I dive into my little fairy tale. And Littleish, is it Yara Shahidi from Blackish and Bronish? Once upon a time, I reigned supreme over an entire underwater kingdom. But after ruling from coast to coast for so long, my castle started to feel like a gilded cage. What a tiara. Maybe Miss USA? So it was time for this princess to journey into the real world and finally experience all the cool, fun things I missed out on. Like making friends, going to parties, and just being free. Oh, that's an angelfish, Charlie's Angels. So being here, I'm going with the flow as I carve my way through this new adventure. And while being on dry land is a little scary, I'm hoping I can still make a splash on this stage. Look, 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 she's pretty nervous. But my nerves got the best of me last time. I could hear a little bit of the nervousness, but beautiful vocal tone. It was hard to hear. Especially because I'm usually one of the best at what I do. Also, I'm here without the people who pick me up when I fall. My family. My parents are the sea's knees. The USS Big Bird? Sacrificing time and their careers so I could follow my dream. There's my ride or die, Papa Jelly. He helped engineer my whole world and taught me the best life hacks. Yoga mats, oh, maybe Kate Hudson? For years, he'd wake up at 3 a.m., put me in the car, and I'd wake up hours later at gigs in faraway land. Gigs? Maybe she's in a group. Oops, <laughs> how'd that get in there? Tonight, I'm gonna use my dad's wisdom to help fight off the nerves. XOXO, Papa J, love you. You know, last time she performed, she was really, really nervous. See, I get that, because being in that costume, they're almost more naked than when they are themselves. Right. Crazy. 
amazing performance. When I first stepped out on the stage, I was so nervous. But now, I feel like I've finally found my sea legs. Between you and me, getting this far feels like a dream because I'm a Mouse Singer super fan. Just ask my sister, who when she's not crunching numbers, loves watching with me. While Jellyfish has always been the rebel of our by-the-book family, in reality, she's also the overachiever. I'm getting major reality TV vibes. Even though she's ticked off so many accomplishments already, she's always eager to challenge herself in new arenas. The nail file could mean that she's got a beauty product on. We love singing along together with our favorite show, so I'm no stranger to her gorgeous voice. And with her work ethic, it's no surprise she's come this far. X's and O's again. Good luck, Jelly. By my count, you've got a great shot at the Super Six. You're number one. Did a full 180. Crazy. Thinking about the way I was. Did the heartbreak change me? Maybe. But look at where I ended up. Think it's Jellyfish makes me feel free to let out a more daring side of myself. But when I first got here, I felt like a bit of a jellyfish out of water. But I pushed through, and each week I've grown more sure of myself. Every week you just get better and better. Oh, she's getting confident, isn't yeah! she? I can't believe I outlasted a legend in Broccoli and topped Mushroom, who is super talented. But I've realized not only can I hang with these singers, I can beat them. Going into the Super Six, I know that only half of us will survive the night. But I'm feeling at the top of my game and ready to fight for a place in the finals. And now, a super clue that's really chill. Bonjour from Paris. Is she French? Au revoir. Top of my game. There's also one Olympic gold medalist, right? Yeah, yeah. This might be a gymnast or a tennis player. Oh.
to reveal legendary singer Taylor Dane. And now it's time for the second unmasking of the night, Jellyfish. We can't wait to see who you are, right? Yes. But first, let's retrieve the panel's first impression guesses from oh, no. The Vault. Men in Black, bring them out. Do you guys remember what you said? No. I have no idea. I forget who I said. Now, Robin, your first impression guess was Addison Ray. Yes. That's a good one. Well, there was a lot of Instagram and there was Instaclam, but I'm going to go back to my fierce five guess. I'm going to go with our Olympic gold medalist, Gabby Douglas. You're going to stick with Gabby. All right. Now, Jenny, your first impression guess, <laughs> Daisy Ridley. Oh, that's right. There was a lightsaber clue. So that made me go, oh, it could be her. And then I moved out of the actress world and decided to go more athlete because I feel like there were gymnast clues, like baby powder, her parents driving her everywhere, the ups and downs. So I think this is Michaela Maroney. All right, that's a good one. Nicole, your first impression guest, Sophia Ritchie. Yes. That's pretty good. <laughs> you sticking with it? I'm going to change. I am a big fan of her tone and her voice. We got the new clue with Paris Eiffel Tower. She's French Canadian. So I'm going to go with Grimes. Ken, you said Yar Shahidi. You sticking with it? I've thought a variety of people over, over the weeks, but now just thinking like someone who I, I admire and someone who is a national hero and someone who won her Olympic gold medal at the age of 17. Mm. I'm gonna go with my guess. I'm gonna go with Chloe Kim. Wow. Greg, if you're gonna steal something, it would be this <laughs> guess. This is the most solid. She spoke like a champion. She said, I realized not only could I hang with these people, I can best them. You know, and that was like, that's somebody who's always reaching higher. I'm going with Chloe Kim. Okay. Even if I don't get the guess right, but the fact that Craig copied my guess, <laughs> I'm already a winner. There, there was, I really appreciate when you were talking, no more. When you were Say talking no to this person, Thank I, you. the costume went away. Thank you. It went away. Shut the Some weird comedic genius moment going on right here. Oh. Okay, panel, you have made your final guesses. Let's see if any of you are right. Jellyfish, the world wants to know. Audience, say it with me. Take, Take it, it off. Take 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 it off. Hey, Ken. <laughs> I don't know. You make him so excited. You are amazing tonight. Thank you for being an inspiration to my daughters. My daughters are 13 in middle school. You are a huge name in our household, and you inspire us all. Thank you, and I wish you continued success. Oh, Thank my God. You, Ken. What was our missed connection? I watched a YouTube video of you answering like medical questions yeah. and I was laughing the whole time. It was so funny. So I was like, oh, I should DM him because that's like what we're doing nowadays, she did DM right? You. So oh, you I, I DM'd you on Instagram and literally, not, you didn't even read it. 
I didn't, I didn't, you know. Red? I didn't even get a scene. Really? No, I you really. do not do that. I did not. That's not. the ultimate millennial disrespect. Oh, I'm so sorry. I, when I get home, I will DM you back and say thank you. Oh, now you will. Well, I, I promise. Okay, I see how it is. So you're going to leave me undelivered for two oh, years. Oh, two years. Two years. Oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, no, but serious, it's all good, all jokes. I'm such a big fan of all of you guys, ah. so this whole experience was just so amazing Likewise. for me. I've never performed in front of anyone before. Wow. And what? <laughs> yeah. Watching your journey on this show was inspirational. We saw you come out here a little bit nervous, and each week you just blew our minds. Thank you. <laughs> Everything about you says champion. It, you were fantastic. You guys gave me so much confidence after each week, and it's just been such a fun experience to like be able to put myself out there, be vulnerable. Like I really, really oh, appreciate we it. Love you. So, so let's hear it one more time for the artist formerly known as the Jellyfish, Chloe Kim. Coats where I had a believer Round and around and around and around we go Oh, now tell me now, tell me now, tell me now you know I really sure how to feel about it Something in the way me feel like I can't live without you and it takes me all the way I want you to stay funny you're the broken one but I'm the only one who needed saving cause when you never see the light it's hard to know which one of us is caving performed in front of people before so I think knowing that people didn't know who I was under the massive jellyfish head gave me a lot of confidence and made me feel um, a little more comfortable. <laughs> Such a beautiful vocal tone. I mean, I can hear a little bit of the nervousness. Maybe this might be one of the first times you've sung this publicly. Me being a competitive lady, um, I wanted to train as much as I could for it. I wanted to get as many vocal sessions in as I could. I wanted to have fun choreo. I wanted to do everything perfectly, which was interesting for me to train in something else and not snowboarding, so it was fun. I definitely worked very hard when I was here. I was not in my comfort zone, had no idea what I was doing, so I needed a lot of guidance. And thankfully, you know, everyone here was so sweet and so kind and so helpful and really helped me navigate through this craziness. But yeah, now I feel really confident and I'm down for karaoke nights. So hit me up. Don't show up, don't come out, don't start caring, 
So funny, I kind of started to forget my own name because everyone here calls me the jellyfish and I've just been here so much. You know, one person called me by my real name a few hours ago and it kind of freaks me out. So I'm, let's not do that again. Call me the jelly from now on. Performing in the costume is so crazy. It's so big and everything like feels a little off. There's no skin showing. I can't like feel anything besides the fabrics or like my head wobbling around. The jelly head feels like a 100,000 pound sandbag on my head and it moves freely, not even centered sometimes. It gets really hot, <laughs> but it's cute. Beauty is pain, as they say. I liked my costume. I really connected with the jellyfish because they go with the flow. I love watching them just float at the aquarium. So I could really play around with the tentacles and I wanted it to be like a little sassy, a little shy. It's fun. I love the idea of a singing jellyfish. You've already grown into this role, and I saw you hopping up and down afterwards. I'm just really proud of myself. My goal before I started filming was to make it through one episode. Didn't think I'd make it to number four, and you know, gets that home right before the finale. So you know, that's pretty good. Thank you for being an inspiration to my daughters. My daughters are 13 in middle school. You are a huge name in our household, and you inspire us all. Thank you, and I wish you continued success. Oh my God. Don't stop caring about me now. What? You got Jay Barrow screaming for you. Yeah, I didn't know that was going to come out of that jellyfish. Ah. Me coming on this show really was my version of getting out of my comfort zone, and I feel I feel really happy, I'm really proud of myself. I feel like I was able to push through some really hard and tricky times while I was on this show. So get out there, try new things. I want you to stay. I want you to stay. Jelly, you were really heavy, but you were cute. I'm gonna miss you. Mwah!